Hey Aquarius people, um, somebody isn't letting you go in their heart or their mind or this is you. Um, somebody put somebody in a third party situation and still has the audacity to feel entitled to you. Somebody is wondering where somebody is, else is getting their information from. And it could be a jealous ass friend or a co-worker running their mouth. Somebody is mad as a mask wearer. They aren't comfortable. They aren't yet comfortable with the skin that they are in, so they pretend. A transformation is coming soon. Somebody has been spending a lot of time thinking about you, or this is you. Uh, they want to reach out, and they might, in fact, do so if they can figure out a way to do it without you chewing their head off. This person has infuriated you in some way. You're angry with them. You're angry with them. Uh, some Aquariuses are living their best life, and it doesn't include going back and forth. It's peace, and being single is um, this provides you that with that for now. All focus is on self, and it works well. Okay, so that's for somebody. Let me get a little message out here for you, God, universe, angels, spirit guides, and ancestors. Please give us some clear and concise messages for the Aquarius people. What do they need to know at this time? On the energy of high vibration, high frequency, and high white light is welcome here, spirit. No energy of low vibration, low frequency, or negativity is welcome. And I ask that you rebuke it in the name of you. Amen, 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 amen. Aquarius. People with Aquarius placements, what's the message? On the bottom of the deck, we got Chaser, Missed Opportunity, and Unsatisfied. Under that, we got degree, uh, Disagreements, okay? So it looks like somebody was chasing somebody here. You're dealing with the runner and the chaser, and the chaser got tired of chasing because they were not feeling satisfied or it just wasn't enough for them. So the other person's looking like they didn't miss the opportunity. And the chaser don't want to chase no more. They done chasing. And I do feel like there's been some type of disagreements about the chaser. Somebody's felt like that somebody needs to do some self-reflection. So you decided to detach from somebody who sabotages the opportunity. Aquarius. Responsibilities. I have to take care of my financial and emotional needs. Yeah, that's what I feel like this person needs to work on. Their emotional and financial needs. Because... They're giving mixed signals. Yeah, I feel like you know that too, which is why you're detaching from this person. You had to let this go so you can clear your mind. Yeah, there's that third party energy I picked up on in the meditation. For some of y'all, y'all detaching from a person because they brought, put you in a third party. There were other things that got in the way of us being together. Yeah. And then reunion. We will always come back to each other. So somebody could be wanting you back here. Somebody that you detached from because they needed to um, get their own emotions or finances in check. Or somebody who put you in a third party situation. Somebody who left you confused because of secrets that they kept. Somebody that you disagree with. Somebody wants to mend with you. Somebody who once neglected you now feels like that y'all have unfinished business. Something could have changed in their values here. Somebody's been reflecting on some type of shit that they talked or gossip that they said. They could have closed out a cycle and they're very, very well starting a new one and they've been reminiscing about reminiscing, <laughs> reminiscing about you. Tell me about this responsibilities. Tell me about responsibilities. Lots of responsibilities here. Responsibilities. Hold on. Let me get one of these. Tell me about responsibilities. Karma. 
consequences, cause and effects, debts. Okay, so this person could have been tied up with some type of karma that they needed to serve up. Detachment is clarified by a breaking point. Limit, final straw, overwhelm. Yeah, you couldn't take it no more. Whether you detach because this person was emotionally unavailable or um, physically re irresponsible or they put you in a third party situation. Third party situation is clarified by cloudy judgment. Illusions, unbalanced, distorted. So somebody allows somebody to get in the head. Tell me about union. Uh -uh, I can't take all those. Let's see what's left over. Foundation and mistakes. Yeah. Somebody made mistakes and now they want to build a solid foundation here with you. Somebody you was chasing at one point, it was chasing you. Somebody's gonna get clarity from the chase from the runner about some type of influences that were uh, influencing them. Tell me about responsibilities and karma. Yeah, I feel like this person is going to come back and want to transform things with you. With this death card, they're going to make you aware of something as well as an opportunity. I feel like they had some type of responsibility here. Or maybe they were, their finances were going somewhere else and it wouldn't have been acceptable in a relationship. So this person was in and out, back and forth. But I do feel like they had a lot of emotions for you, or they still do. But they just were financially tied up to some other obligation that they possibly couldn't shake at the time. But I do feel like they're going to make you aware of that, Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, this person, that's why I said they was dealing with some type of confusion here when it comes to where their finances were going or some type of investment. But I do feel like they were stressed out about leaving you waiting. Or stressed out about what the future might hold for y'all. But I do feel like they're going to try to defend a position in your life. Or in a relationship with you. By, by speaking some type of truth that you may not be aware of at this time. But I do feel like you have detached from this person. Because you've reached a breaking point. Talking about detachment and breaking point. You got, yeah. Some of y'all got tied up with this person in the mysterious ass ways. Always keeping a secret. Always leaving you out the loop. Not ever telling you shit. But now them tables done turned with this Wheel of Fortune energy. Something shifted in your favor. A tower here to the Five of Wands. Some, something could have blew up here with a competition. With somebody who was competing with you for this, some type of love. Or some type of passion and new beginning. A tower is blowing that out the way. And if it was somebody's ego, I feel like that's getting blown out the way as well. Tell me about this moon energy. Yeah, I feel like you was waiting on some type of explanation from this person or some type of information, but you never did get it. You always felt like you was left out of the loop. The star card. Even still, you kept hope that this could be that you could have a commitment with this person until you didn't anymore. Until you decided to just walk away from this person, and give birth to something else, allow that cycle to close retreat and moving away from it and now you got somebody wanting to take action because they don't want to let you go they feel like if for those of you where you were put in a third party situation somebody feels like their judgment was cloudy they feel like they was dealing with an illusion or some type of distorted um reality something unbalanced here tell me about third party and judgment I feel like this person could have been using, investing their energy into some type of reconciliation, possibly. But they were still at a crossroads here with the Two of Swords. But I do feel like they're going to make you aware of that. right? And then they're going to make you aware of an offer that they want to extend to you. What's this Two of Swords? Their intuition should have been screaming at them on what decision to make with this judgment card. So somebody made a decision, but their judgment was cloudy.
they made a, they made a decision that they felt would calm the waters from their perspective here. It could have been some possible fear as well. Tell me about the judgment. Yeah, whatever the decision was that they made, it did break somebody's heart. This could have been yours or somebody else. This could as well be this person's heart pulling them in multiple directions. Yeah, wherever whatever they did, I feel like that's that's been in that's over with. That's over with ten of swords to the death card. Somebody's getting away from that because they realize it doesn't emotionally serve them. Justice. They're able to see the truth, the facts, and the balanced decisions that they should make or should have made. This is how they're able to see that their, their judgment is cloudy at this time. I do feel like this person has completed some type of cycle. And they will be finding some type of strength and courage here to come and do the right thing. Because it's the right thing to do when it comes to this empress or this brand new beginning. Again, this person is going to make you aware that they want a brand new beginning with you. They feel like they made mistakes here. Tell me about the mistakes. But they feel like it's some y'all can still find a way to establish some type of security, some type of relationship, some type of foundation. Yeah. Yeah, this person didn't have the knowledge or they was afraid. Yeah, I don't feel like they knew with the Seven of Swords. They sabotaged because they didn't know no better. Eight of Swords, they was lacking information, but again, they were afraid. But I do feel like they received some type of clarity, Queen of Swords, and knowing that they don't want to miss out on this opportunity to have their wishes fulfilled, they will be taking charge of the situation. I feel like you will be receiving an apology or some type of expressed emotions from this person. You might know this already intuitively. You could be dealing with a Pisces. Yeah, this is somebody that you're on a break from, that you retreated from. But I do feel like mysteriously they, they got a lot of secret love for you. And I do feel like they will be taking um, some type of charge here with the King of Wands and expressing it. They want to plant a seed. They want to have a connection. Yeah, this person's intuition is telling them to risk it. This could be an Aquarius masculine that's dealing with this situation, but somebody's definitely being urged to risk this, risk it. Don't do too much thinking about it. Just take a risk. Take a leap of faith. Foundations, reunions. Yeah, something had to, something was, something's a shock here. Yeah, somebody had a, a powerful revelation. A shocking revelation that they that who the one is and they don't want to miss out on this. They had a shocking revelation that they've been this very guarded due to some type of past dis disappointment and it's been causing them stagnation and a possible twin flame up until this point. Expect this person to rush in quickly with this Eight of Swords energy because they feel like they made a bad decision in the past. Um... They could have been egotistical in which they've learned some type of lesson or had some type of ego shatter. Or there could have been other opposing energies on the outside speaking in or getting in somebody's head. Yeah, let's get a couple more. Reveal. I want to tell you the truth. Yeah, I feel like this person got some type of truth that they want to speak to you. Could be about some type of habits. Or some type of toxic traits that they experience or did experience. Commitment. I want you to be a part of my future. So somebody could be revealing their true emotions for you. Somebody wants a commitment or wants to take things to the next level. So contract. The lessons I learned from us will never be forgotten. So this could be some type. You could have a soul contract with this person, and it, they were meant. It was things were meant to happen this way so that they can learn the lesson that they learned here. Absence. I feel like a part of me is missing without you. Yeah. Somebody wants your forgiveness here. 
for some type of dishonesty or for some type of situation where they didn't reciprocate, but they sabotaged and they said they did. Okay. Reveal. Four of Pentacles. Somebody don't want to let you go. That's what they're going to be revealing. They don't want to let you go. Could be an earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn, but they want to make a large investment here. Because they feel like you're wish fulfillment and they want to take charge of it. They feel like they need to make a move because they have the clarity that they need. And they want commitment. They don't want nobody else having you. Four of Pentacles. I'm sorry, commitment. Yeah, somebody feels like you got a display of unconditional love or you're very compassionate and caring. Somebody feel like the love that you offer to them may have scared them and made them nervous, but they're ready now. To expect this person to now be the one offering you love. Yeah, they want to reciprocate the love that you gave them. So, contract. Yeah, I feel like this was supposed to happen. This person was supposed to choose the past energy and that would be a bad decision and then they come rushing in quickly trying to conquer, trying to overcome, trying to put the work into the connection. After looking back on how they behaved and how they acted, how much of a drama king or queen they was, absence. I feel like absence makes the heart grow fonder. And that's what this person had experienced. Yeah, absence of a twin flame with the lover's connection or a deep soul contract. Yep, and now they want to find balance. They want to find equilibrium. They want to be fair. Because this is a path that they're destined to be on and they realize that this without a, a undeniable... Uh, undeniable doubt. Uh, no, I just made that up. Yeah, Ace of Swords coming out. They got the truth. They got the clarity. They know exactly what needs to be done and how. Yeah, somebody went within to do some reflections. Reflecting on them. Reflecting on how they've been showing up in the world. So let's get you one of these cards right here. Messages from the ancestors do we got for Aquarius people, God, universe, angels, spirit, gods, and ancestors? What message from the ancestors do we have for the Aquarius people? Message. Okay, mother, nurturing. When you first see this card, most likely some images and feelings about your own mother will appear in your consciousness. This art, um, archetypical, archetypal mother ancestor is an even deeper presence. One that is most clearly defined by the quality of nurturing. She reminds you to love and care for yourself and for the children, whether they're yours or others. If you have raised children, you know that it can call out a part of you that is quite capable of softening and nurturing as well as shadow parts of a dark mother where 
they they uh, they were internalized. Caring for someone and providing for their physical and emotional needs are a gift of true nurturing. Whether that kind of attention is directed to humans, animals, or plants, true nurturing is love and compassion in action, no matter where it is directed. Yeah, so this, somebody's definitely feeling this type of nurturing, loving, inner, motherly energy that you bring to the table that you show them. I feel like this person's so used to being a warrior here, but they're about to put their, their, their gear down. They're about to make love and peace and not war. Well, boundaries. Most people see this card and think of a soldier, but a true warrior is so much more. A true warrior's sacred obligation is to serve the ruler, the king or queen, and particularly the ruler that is connected to the higher authority and rules with equanimity. This service to the ruler requires warrior to be ready at all times, to be on alert and fully present in the ever-changing moment. Your job is to protect their leader as well as home, family, and land, and to set limits and defend boundaries. Throughout human history, there have been many examples of how a true warrior's mission has been perverted and compromised to the point that they may have become a killer or a mercenary. With a distorted perspective, on who or what is being served. The, tr the true warrior does not act out of anger, but out of compassion and service to those being served and a respect for the values necessary to carry out the service. One of their main duties is to establish boundaries to serve and protect and defend. If necessary, they will sacrifice their life of those for those that they serve. See, this person is used to being rough around the edges. They're used to everybody coming in their life and taking advantage of them. So they've been in a battle. They've been in. They've been battling. They've been a warrior, a wounded warrior up until this point. They've been feeling the need to protect and serve, like like their heart is in trouble, or like somebody was gonna hurt them because that's what they're used to getting. Okay, but I do feel like your your nurturing motherly energy has softened this person up. And let them see that there are good people out there that do exist, that do actually care and give the love and compassion and sympathy. So, that's what I got for you, Aquarius people. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you in the next video. Namaste.